Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Monero, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft PS4 Edition. And how glorious is our little world looking already? We haven't built much, but what we have built I think looks amazing. Statue of Rex is absolutely wonderful. Skull Island is coming along great. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting some more work into the Skull on Skull Island. Uh, I didn't have any time to do anything fancy with it in between episodes and there's some uh, tweaks and improvements and stuff like that I want to make to it today. Uh, the biggest one being the eyes. We're going to take out the glowstone that we put in the eyes last time and we're going to replace it with lava. We're going to have like flowing lava behind the eyes. I think that'll make it look a whole lot more evil. Then we might start decorating it with some vines, leaf blocks, and maybe we might pop down and find that dungeon in the ravine again that we came across when we first went down there exploring, and we might steal some of the mossy cobblestone and put that in as well, just to make it look a little bit more ancient. I kind of wanted to get those features done and added to it before I put the uh, rest of the skull on, like the back of it, just so I know what I'm working with. And then if we have enough time, we're going to begin on our next kind of big project type thingy which is clearing out a lot of this area around here you know getting rid of random dirt formations like that getting rid of a lot of this grass especially around the base of Rex here because I want to start building some other buildings um, and the idea that we had when we first started this was that Rex is going to be the centerpiece to our village. So I'm thinking we have four pathways coming off either side of him. So we have one come out here, one on the other side, one on the front there and one on the back as well. And those will lead off into, I guess, the village. Now, when I think of a village, I generally think of the, I guess, shops or most important infrastructure being in the middle. So the first things that I think we are going to build around Rex when we get to that are things like a blacksmith or maybe a shop or something like that. Uh, so they're just some ideas that I got going around in my head. They're projects that we're going to be working towards over the next few episodes. Obviously we're not going to get that all done in one swoop. It's going to take us a little while. I have to do some more resource collecting to get some more cobblestone because we don't have much left over at the moment. We have a stack in there which we know won't build much as we've seen building uh you know Rex and the skull how many resources we actually need you always think you have enough and then you always fall short look at Clory staring at me stop watching me while I sleep it's really creepy uh so what we're going to do to get started is we're going to put this dirt in here uh we're going to put these wheat seeds in here with the rest of the ridiculous amount of seeds we have uh we have over two stacks I don't even know what to do with that many seeds we have so many chloris it is ridiculous uh then we're going to grab this cobblestone we're going to grab this lava bucket, we are going to grab a dirt block, uh, we're going to grab some of this gravel here, we'll grab some stone stairs, just grabbing a bunch of materials, uh, some oak planks as well, as well as some oak wood here, because I would like to build a little bridge going over to Skull Island as well. Let's see if our oak trees have grown back, I did just harvest them, and it looks like they have. They grew fast, so we'll harvest these again. I'm pretty sure we'll have enough wood anyway, but it never hurts to be uh, safe and get extra. So we will chop these down here really quickly. There we go. And then we'll probably need to make ourselves another couple of buckets to make getting the lava a bit easier. We know that there is a surface lava pool just over that away somewhere. Just over yonder that we can collect the lava from. But I don't want to have to do like six trips. So we may make more lava buckets or more buckets to get more lava. Where is our water bucket actually? Uh, where is our bucket that had water in it? Where are you? Are you in here? Okay, so there we go. We have another empty bucket. Now, I'm going to have to put the lava source blocks above the eye. And the eye is one, two, three, four rows by the looks of it. So I think we'll need four buckets of lava for each eye if I counted that correctly. Yes, we will. So we need one, two, three, four. So what I might do is I might make two more buckets and that way we can just get four buckets of lava and we can complete each eye one at a time and we don't have to run back and forth as much. Uh, the reason we need the cobblestone is I need to make a little basin for the lava to actually fall into. Otherwise, it's going to cause quite a mess and go everywhere. Looks like we need to cook up some more 
more iron to achieve this. So let's put that on to cook. We do have two ingots on us at the moment. We'll place those there. Uh, while we are waiting, let's go and chop down this other oak tree that I forgot to chop down and collect any saplings that may have dropped and replant them. Here we go. Oh, lots of saplings dropping. Lots of saplings dropping. Um, actually, there's a reason I didn't cut this down. It's one of these messed up trees that have logs everywhere that you need to get before it starts falling. So we might leave it. As I said, we should have more than enough wood at the moment. Um, let's replant some of the saplings here. And we want another one there. And then we probably want another one there. And another one, I don't know, like there. That should be absolutely fine. Those should grow with no problems. Uh, while we're waiting for the rest of that iron to cook, let's actually go over and start building our bridge that we want to Skull Island. And I think it's going to look a whole lot better with lava in it. And then in between the episodes, I will try and get the back of it finished so the skull is complete. Next time, I just kind of wanted to leave it for today so that we could uh, add some extra features to it. So let's get building this bridge here. Now, I want it parallel with the entrance, so it's going to start about here. What we need probably is more wood, and I want it to arch a little bit or kind of go up. A stack should be enough, so if it starts here and we want it too wide to match the too wide entrance, then I probably want it four wide. That probably made no sense, but I probably want it four wide like that. And then the middle will go along here normally. And the side, um, the fourth row, will go up a level, so it acts as kind of a wall. So let's bring it out here, and we'll go over to the other side. And uh, bring it across as well so we know where the middle is. There's a squid frolicking around. Hello, Mr. Squid. How you doing, sir? Derpy squids. There's a lot of squid there, so we should be right for ink if we uh, ever need it for anything crazy. It's for wool mainly, probably. Just decorations. So we want to put that there as well. And that there. And then let's bring this out. So maybe if we brought it out. Uh, one, two, three. And then four. And then we brought it up one like that. That could work. And then we'll do the same on the other side as well. Bring it out three and then have the fourth one go up. Sounds like a good idea to me. Uh, is it already out four maybe? Maybe it is. So one, two, three. Yeah, it is. Okay, so four. And that goes up there. And then this would run along the side and go up as well. Like that. There we go. And we'll put some fencing up as well. Make it look pretty. And then that'll go along like that. And there, there and up. There we go. Yeah, I think that's going to look great. That is going to look great. Now we need to actually build this section out here. So what if we went four again? That could be an idea. If we went out four again, it's a little bit tricky when you're bobbing in the water. So that is what, two. And then we need to go three, four. I said four, four. Uh, and then three and four again. That's looking all right, and we'll do the same on the other side. And by the time we get this connected, uh, the iron shall be finished cooking, and we can go and gather some of that lava. So one, one, uh, two. I said two. Don't disobey me, game. Two, two. Oh, my bad. Um, two, three, three, four. Four. Okay, there we go, there we go. It is very tricky using a controller and trying to swim and place things down at the same time. And we will grab this back really quickly. Looks like we need ourselves a little snack here as well, so we'll munch on a steak. And that's looking alright, that is looking alright. Um, just not sure how it's going to connect in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go one, two... Ah, oh, no, that's right, I screwed up, didn't I? Because we wanted it to go up again. So not there, we want these to go there, and then have this come across like this. There we go, okay, that makes more sense. And we may just keep it at this height here. That'll probably work best, so it's nice and symmetrical. So we've got to bring it all the way across. I'm not going to have enough wood, but did we have any raw left over? Oh, we have plenty. We have plenty there, so we'll get 28 more. Should be more than enough for what we need. Bring this across like that, like that, like that. Oh, don't know, don't know how I fell off there. I was crouching. How did that happen? That does not make sense. But means we can jump out of the water here and finish it from land, and we don't have to battle against nature anymore. And that would go like that. 
and I think our little bridge is complete. We just got to make sure it's the right number. One, two, three, four. And we're going to make sure it's the same on the other side. Otherwise, it will drive me absolutely crazy. So one, two, three, four. And then this would come across like that. And then go there and up. And then this would come across like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, it's a lot bigger in the middle than I thought it was. Let's get some more wood here. Actually, we'll just convert all of this over. Let's do it. There we go, because we're probably going to need it for more building in the future. Why not? And then we'll want to go down here and bring it up from this side as well, like that. And then bring this across, like that. There we go, there we go. It's looking pretty nice, and we'll put some fencing along the top here. We'll put some proper steps in as well, so it's a bit easier to walk up. And we'll probably have to trim off some of these blocks here too. Uh, the extra ones that we use to like get a leg up, and that way we save on a bit of material. So bring this across as well. And our bridge is almost done. Then we can gather our buckets of lava and begin working on the evil eyes. I don't know why I keep putting blocks underneath when I don't need to. Uh, so then that goes across like that. I actually don't think I want these blocks here. I thought about having that one there, but I think it looks better without it. And now, guys, we have a little bridge going across to Skull Island. I think it looks really nice already. Let's have a look at it. It all looks fine on this end as well. That is looking great. Let's go get our iron out. Let's make ourselves some more buckets and go gather some of that lava. We'll also get some uh, wooden steps made too and we can put those in when we head back over to this skull. 22 iron cooked up. Fantastic. Uh, let's get some buckets made here. So we need uh, two more buckets. Now what we need is we need to make some steps here, which are right there. Not sure how many I need. I'm thinking 32. Half a stack should be absolutely fine. Clarice is opening and closing my door again. Looks like the sun is setting, so we will sleep until morning. Not sure why I grabbed out dirt, or is that dirt I dug up? I have no idea where that dirt came from. My mind has gone blank on where it appeared from. I think I took it out of the chest and I don't know why. And Clarice was having some kind of spasm in the corner there or something. Lou's curly little tail. You are lovable but infuriating at the same time, Clarice. It's just that I've got such mixed feelings about you. On the one hand, I adore you. On the other hand, you annoy the shit out of me. As <laughs> simple as that. Uh, let's put seeds back in there. We got a lovely little apple to munch on if we want it. Uh, we got cobblestone, which we're going to need. I probably don't need sand at the moment. We'll hold on to that wood in case we need it. Uh, I think we are good to go. Let's go and grab ourselves some lava to begin with. Need to take that out of my hotbar or we're going to have a nasty accident. I almost placed it down when we were building that bridge there. And that could have been disastrous. The whole thing would have caught fire. Should be a pool of lava over this way that is above ground we've come across before. So it's convenient that we don't have to go digging down deep to grab this. And then we can see how these eyes look. Hopefully it turns out pretty cool. Hopefully it does. Here we go. Here is the lava we want. So let's get one, two, and three more lava buckets. We have all four that we need. Let's head on over to Skull Island. And I mean, the fact that you can see the glowstone from here means that when the lava's in place, it's going to look really, really cool. The other thing that I forgot to grab were our shears. So I'm going to run back and grab those really quickly. And then we'll get these eyes put in and see how it looks. Okay, so we have our shears on us now. What we want to do is put these steps in here like that. How did that go upside down? What are you doing to me? We want to put our steps in here, not upside down, so that you can just run straight across nice and smoothly. Uh, let's actually get said shears out really quickly and grab ourselves some more vines here. I keep forgetting that you have to break it, and I keep trying to uh, essentially right-click to get it. Let's grab ourselves some uh, leaves here as well, some more vines, and we'll decorate with all of this. So if I break it anywhere, do I get a vine? Oh, I do. So it's probably better to break it from below so you get more of the vine. Unless it drops all of it in one big hit. I am not really sure, but we'll gather a whole bunch of this. And we're going to hang it off the sides of our skull. There we go. Cool. That should be more than enough to get some starting decorations done and see how it looks. Looks like I'm also in need of that apple we picked up. 
Oh no, no, no. Oh, I did it. I did it. Exactly what I was talking about before, where I was worried I was going to place the lava down, and I just did it. Luckily, I picked it up in time, and it didn't make our bridge cat fire. Um, let's get the rest of the stairs put in here. We really didn't need many. I made far too much, uh, but that's fine. It's always good to have them on us. Now, let's get our cobblestone out here. Let's get our lava buckets in our inventory and be very, very careful we don't drop them. Now, the only alteration I made was this uh, netherrack. I just moved it one block out either side because uh, I felt it was it was too easy to walk in here and catch fire. Uh, so we need to traverse around this. So we'll go around the back and come in this way. Because what we want to do is we want to build a little basin for the lava to flow down into. So we need to nerd pole up here and see what we can make. Uh, okay, so first things first, let's knock out this glowstone here. Now it's probably going to fall in the fire and be destroyed, but that is fine. We know that there is tons around our nether portal we can go and collect, even though I really don't want to go back into the nether. As you probably gathered from last episode, it is not a place I like to visit. So lava block number one is going to go there, two is going to go there, three there, four there. So we need a four wide little basin down the bottom here that's going to catch said lava. Now I'm thinking mm, it's a bit tricky with the nose being there. But what I'm thinking is something like that might work. And then, hmm, how are we going to do this? Alright, let's nerd pole up a little bit more. It's a little bit awkward with the dimensions of the face because I don't want the lava showing through the nose. But we definitely want a lava block right there. That means it's going to flow oh, onto that block. Oh, that's fine then. That actually works out perfectly because then we can put a block there. To hold it in place and we can bring this around like this here and that should hold all the lava in place now I hope we may have to dig one down though so it has somewhere to fall into and it won't fall out the front of the face hmm not really sure we're gonna place it down give it a test run and see how it goes so that will drop straight into there it's going all over the place. Nope, nope, don't want that, don't want that, don't want that. Uh, what happened there? Why did it go all over the place? Why did it go... Why is it not disappearing? Lava be gone. Lava be gone. Go away, lava. Get out of here. I want nothing to do with you anymore. Uh, okay, okay. It just won't disappear. What? What is your problem? What is your malfunction, lava? Put you there. See if we can get rid of it now. What is going on here? That lava shouldn't be there. I took away the source block. Uh, okay. Interesting. Maybe if I put it there, that'll split it off. What is happening here? What's going on? There's like magic lava. It just doesn't want to disappear. It may now, though. No, it's still hanging around. Look, your source block is gone. Be gone, lava. Be gone. There we go. Oh, crap. And the forest is catching fire now. It's exactly what I didn't want happening. Um, so what I want to do is I want to dig down here. Oh, no. That is going to be a disaster. That is going to... Ow. Ow. What is happening here? What is happening with this lava? Lava isn't meant to behave like this. Lava is not meant to behave like this. This tree has caught fire. It's an absolute disaster here. All right. Stop. 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 No, 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 no. No, 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 fire, be gone. Fire, fire, no. Get out of here. I don't understand why this lava won't go away now. What a mess we have made. A lava disaster. Come on. Go away. Go away, lava. You're not meant to be there anymore. Uh, what we're going to do is put this fire out while we're here. Because I don't want to catch fire from this when there's lava there that's going to do that job for it. Oh, no, this tree's caught. Oh, come on. Come on. What have I done? I have no idea what I've done here, like, that should have just disappeared when I placed the cobblestone on it, because that was the lava source block, but it just keeps, like, resetting the source block. Alright, maybe that, that'll be it. Maybe that's the ticket. Ah, uh, but now we're losing this tree out here. Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't do this. Come on, tree. Live, tree. Live. Live, goddammit. Live. Oh, no. 
destroyed blocks and everything. Oh, it's spreading to this tree now. No, we have a forest fire on our hands. Someone call the fire brigade. Call the fire brigade. We have a forest fire on our hands. We have this big pool of lava here now. I don't know how to get rid of because I thought it should have gone when I placed that uh, cobblestone block on top of it. This is why you don't play with fire or I guess in extreme terms you don't play with lava because bad things happen. It's not, it's not a force of nature that is meant to be toyed with. Come on. Go away. Be gone with you. Wow, this is persistent lava. It just won't disappear. Look at it. It's like a plague spreading. And it's so hard to get rid of it. Wow. I really was not expecting it to be that much trouble. We have accomplished um, starting a forest fire. Pity there's not an achievement for that or we would have got it. Poor trees being destroyed here. Another one here. Oh, I didn't want that. I didn't want that at all. That doesn't look nice. Oh, there's more out the back that I'd forgotten about that's still out. Oh, crap. And that's us dead. That is us dead if we don't get to the water in time. I think we can make it, guys. I think we can make it. Oh, that's good. Cool off. Cool off a little bit after this mess. Wow. Uh, okay. So we'll place that there. And hopefully that's the last of it. No, look. It just won't disappear. Be gone. Be gone, foul beast. No one wants you here, fiery demon. Alright, I think finally all the lava is gone. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that was horrible. That was really, really horrible. Uh, what a complete mess. Let's head back up here and uh, see how we can correct that. Now, someone had a suggestion of putting glass on the eye and putting the lava in the glass. I didn't originally do that because it was pretty resource intensive, but now I'm starting to think that's probably a good idea. It is getting dark, so what we're going to do is we're going to head back, going to get ourselves some food that we desperately need. We're going to sleep until morning. I'm going to put some sand on to cook so I can get some glass, and we're going to try that method out and see if we can get these larvary eyes made, or if we end up with another forest fire. We'll see what happens. Okay, so we have 12 pieces of glass here, which should be enough to fill in our eye, hopefully. I think I counted it out as 12. We definitely just want to master getting this lava put in one eye. Oh, crap. One eye before we make another one. I can't get that back, can I? Damn it. That's what happens when you misplace glass. Uh, but that should be fine. That should be fine. So we'll have the glass like that in the actual eye. Now here, what we're going to do this time is we're going to build it like this. There we go. So now the lava should flow into this little alcove here and should stay in there. That's the idea. Let's give it another shot. Down you go, down you go. Do not burn me. Straight into the bot. What is happening here? I don't understand what is happening there with it splitting up the top. Why is it splitting up the top? It should just be going straight down. Huh. It's something about the way I'm placing it. Oh no, we've got this disaster again. We've got this disaster again with the lava not disappearing. <laughs> oh well, it's all just gone horribly wrong, guys. It's all just gone horribly, horribly wrong here. How's that happening? I'm not sure how that's happening. What we might have to do... Oh crap. Is we might have to build a wall of cobblestone behind the uh, lava layer. And that way it can't escape at all. That's the only thing I can think of that is going to prevent this from happening. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's all I'm really thinking of at the moment that may work. Is putting a wall of cobblestone behind the lava. Which means we'd have to build it like this. Um, I know there's a big flow of lava down there I need to sort out. But I just, I just can't do it at the moment. I just can't do it at the moment. I want to get this darn eye in. There we go. Like that. And then, like that, and like that. And I guess we have to do it all the way to the top, because the lava is behaving erratically here. I probably want that back as well, don't I? Yeah, okay, okay. It's looking alright, this may work, this method may work here. So it'll be like that. And then, um, just trying to think how I'm going to get it in there now. Let's knock that block down. And what we'll do is we'll put it there, there, uh, I need to knock a hole above me, oh it's getting messy, it is getting messy here, and that one there, and I think, I think that should work maybe, 
Maybe I'm going to have to knock this down here as well so I can see a little bit better. But if we can get it in there now, it should be okay. Uh, I didn't want to knock that down. I want that there. Okay, let's try it now. So lava there. Lava there. See, and then it's it's gone up. I didn't place it there and look where it went. Lava there. Alright, alright. Let's see what we're doing here. Let's Let's see what we're working with here. That looks like it might be fine. Maybe I want one there. Okay, okay. We may have got it figured out, guys. We may have got it figured out. The question is now, how do I get down? I'm going to have to drop right here. Ow. Break my legs. And then I've got to watch out for the actual lava that's just flowing all over the place. What a complete disaster. What a complete mess. It just all went wrong. We burnt down some trees. Killed the local fauna. That is not very nice at all. But... We eventually got there and we have one eye done and that is kind of the idea behind it right there is to have that eye full of lava. Now as I said originally I didn't want that glass in there because it just kind of looks silly but I'm afraid if I move the glass from the front then the lava is just going to flow out as we've seen. We, we can probably try that as well. One last desperate attempt. Let's knock out the glass and see what happens here. It's probably a very bad idea and I should just leave it be. I should just leave it be, but I would really love to have the flowing effect without the glass blocking it. Oh, maybe we've done it. Maybe we have done it. Oh, oh no, 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 there we go. Okay, so that's happening. <laughs> that's happening, guys. That's happening. Um, let's just block that really quickly. Uh... Okay, let's uh, block that really quickly. Let's see if we can get rid of this. And then that one there. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, this is bad. Our beautiful skull has been desecrated. Uh, maybe now it'll be okay, or is that going to happen again? Yeah, it's just going to happen again. So it's something to do with the, the lava source block I've placed up there playing up. But the other side is fine, which has kind of got me baffled a little bit why one side's working... And the other side isn't. That is a little strange and it's got me rather confused here. I'm also in a very precarious spot right there. Can I collect any of this? Like if this was true source blocks I'd be able to collect it but it's not letting me. Which means that it's not a source block which means it should dissipate and disappear. Like I can't collect any of that. Come on, let me collect you. If you're going to act like a source block at least let me pick you up so I don't have to run over and grab the other lava out here. Let's do our old true and tried method of just placing cobblestone over it to get rid of it. Uh, it just takes so much. It takes so much here. Okay, you gone? Because I'm all out of cobblestone, so you better be gone. You better be gone. Uh, I think, though, with a little bit of fiddling, I may be able to get that working. You know what? The lava flowing out of the eye kind of looks cool. Maybe we should leave that and we should just put... A little basin at the bottom to catch it or in fact we should just leave it how it is and let it spill out into the world and look really dangerous hmm I'm not really sure either way I think it's going to look cool and we've had a glimpse of what it's going to look like uh, I'm gonna have to try and fix this complete disaster and mess and see if I can get it working unfortunately though I've run out of time for today's video so I'm gonna get working on that between episodes our plan to get this uh lava installed and move on to some other stuff today failed miserably because it turned into a messy disaster it's like baking a cake and just having it all go wrong and then you end up with this disgusting horrible looking cake that looks like something you could have left at the bottom of the toilet um it still tastes all right but it's not the nicest looking cake it's kind of like the skull at the moment still kind of works but not how we want it uh let me know whether you think we should leave the lava flowing out or whether i should try and fix it and have it all blocked off that's what i'm going to be working on before next episode so hopefully i can get that problem sorted and have something cool to show you guys and then we are going to begin clearing out our lands and seeing what we can build around it rex uh thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed the video don't forget to throw it a rating and as always i'll see you next time bye